The success of such programs was recently documented in an independent study. Researchers from Michigan State University say China's forest recovery is encouraging. I asked one of those researchers, Jingguo Liu, about a goal outlined by Chinese Premier Li Keqiang to cover 23 percent of China's land with trees. Yeah, this goal uh, is ambitious, but I think it's uh, achievable. If China, uh, China continue to implement uh, those uh, conservation policies, including the natural forest conservation program, and there is another major program called the Green to Green program, uh, which is return the cropland to uh, forest land. If we can, uh, the government continue to support those program and other conservation program, I think that forest cover can continue to uh, recover. If you could, just for our uh, global audience, talk about uh, the need for trees when it comes to uh, pollution. And, and China has a, a huge problem with that, don't they? Yes, I think uh, China's environment challenge are enormous. Air pollution, water pollution are well known. But the forest recover actually is a major exceptional success. And uh, a lot of people are not realize that. I think this is uh, very encouraging. And because uh, among all the negative uh, uh, environment problems, this is probably the main uh, positive one. You know, it's interesting. We, we've done a lot of stories about China. You think about wind. You think about uh, solar energy. Uh, China seems to be out in the front when it comes to green, te green technologies. And then this effort, too. Um, can you talk about the separation, China versus other countries, and how they're approaching this issue? I think China um, has been doing something uh, uh, really exceptional in areas that uh, you just mentioned, the green energy and the uh, forest, uh, reforestation, reforestation. And I think the, uh, there is a great demand for that. And, uh, uh, as China's uh, economic development continues, there is a great need for more energy, more um, uh, uh, environment quality, because people now uh, uh, need more uh, and better environment quality. And uh, after the economic level uh, reach uh, and a certain point. Are there some things that China is doing that, that other countries can, uh, can do as well? I think a bigger uh, lesson the uh, other countries can learn from this is that uh, when we do conservation programs, we have to consider the needs of people. So the difference between this uh, program, the Natural Forest Conservation Program, and the, some of the major previous programs that the Chinese government um, uh, implemented is that they provide a lot of uh, uh, um, subsidies to the people who are affected. For example, the timber company used to cut down trees. Uh, the government provide uh, uh, compensation for them to uh, have a different level of food. And actually, some of the timber companies become tree planting companies. And that's a big change. So we cannot just ask people, don't do this, don't do that. But uh, I think it's very important to uh, meet people's basic needs.